Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at an endoscope that was made for Android cameras. Now this will work on Android. This will also work on PC. However, it doesn't have any iOS or Apple support. Now there may be one of these out there for Apple. Not sure, didn't really do the research on it. Um, I basically came across this because I was buying some stuff on eBay and uh, had a couple extra bucks to spend and I figured it looked like a pretty neat purchase and why not you know it was actually less than 20 bucks which is great you can see from the little tiny picture here that it has a short wire but what's included in this box has a much longer wire now when you s when you hear the word endoscope right away I think colonoscopy basically that's kind of what this is it's a USB camera that you know you can pass down into something like a uh, block drain or inside your engine compartment or you know so on and so forth to see something in there and uh, of course it's got your standard uh, chingless or, or inglese depending on which way you want to convert it uh, which is just of course really fun to read Let's see if there's some good examples now this isn't marked which diameter or which length it is but I'm pretty sure it's one of the longer lengths uh, you can see what you can't see and touch. Now, can you touch what you can't see? That's the question. Um, yeah, I do love my chinglish over here, which is always fun. Especially these long run-on sentences like they have down here, or abbreviating like optoelectronic. Yeah. But I digress. What do you expect for, you know, 20 bucks? So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Now, it comes with software, which we'll get to that fun tidbit in a moment. And of course, more Chinglish. And they mentioned that it only works with Android and you have to have the OTG or USB on the go enabled, which I think was Android 4.1 that they started utilizing that, not 100% sure. Now they mentioned it's 640 by 480 resolution, which they call HD, that is not HD. They say it picks up 1280 by 720 only on PC. I have not seen that to be true. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I have not seen that to be the true. I've only seen up to 640 by 480. And the rest of these things I can't really verify because I haven't tested it out myself. I am running um, Windows 10 on my personal computer. I didn't plug this into my personal computer though, I plugged it into my work computer here in my lab just to see, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but it does come with these accessories, which are neat, I'll get to that uh, in the bag here, and then you can scan these codes if you want to uh, either get the APK file, uh, there's actually two APK files, or you can download them from the disk here, and then here's that little accessory pack. Now the accessory pack has this little magnet, um, I'm sorry, this little mirror that you'd screw on the end and convert it to like a right angle view. And then it has these uh, two metallic pieces. One is a hook and the other is a magnet. And then there's this little collar and I'll show you how to put them on a little bit, but let's get to the main meat, meat of this video. Uh, this does come with an adapter to convert your USB connector on your computer to the um, USB micro uh, female connector that you would find on your tablet or your phone device because it has the micro USB male that plugs into the phone. So you would use this to convert it to plug into your computer. Further down on the line here, there's this little control box with a button that will take a picture if the app allows it. It also has a microphone so you can record video with audio and there's a little knob over here to adjust the intensity of the LEDs. Now we'll follow this all the way down. I, like I said, believe this is the three meter edition. Just kind of keeping this spooled up. And it's really impressive how small this is. That's it. It's not much fatter than the cable. I don't have a micrometer here or a pair of calipers or anything like that to measure it. So I'm not sure exactly what diameter it is. I'm going to equate it to a Bic pen. Um, 
here's a, a thin sharpie you can see it's a lot smaller than that thin sharpie marker um, if I have a big pen around here that might help okay here's one of your standard big pens and you can see it's actually smaller than that you could probably place the pen cap over it if you'd like yeah it's small and when you look at the end of it it's actually really cool because those are little tiny LEDs there's actually six of them and the little pinhole in the middle is the camera itself and here's the threads now this does have quite a bit of uses believe it or not um, for example you're trying to you're trying to repair your car or something and you lost a screw in the engine well you could put the magnet attachment on and then pass this down into the engine well and find it or like I said you're sink clogged and you're not really sure why you can pass this into the sink or you know a variety of other uses I could actually use this as like a little miniature USB microscope and put it on a mount and look at things that way if I want to get up close to stuff I mean at the price I'm sure I'll come up with some uses for it it's not like I spent a few hundred dollars on it it was really cheap let's look at these pieces now this is uh, a glass mirror with the metallic kind of collar on it that just screws on like this and uh, <laughs> this kind of reminds me of some spy gear where you would drill a hole in something and then pass this up and look all around you see that in the movies all the time but uh, <laughs> I'm surprised people don't hear the drill drilling the hole but again that's a movie if we take this back off we'll see that actually I put this little mark right here to indicate which side of this is up because you can twist it all around and get all discombobulated but these uh, magnet in the hook both work the same way where you take this little collar and there's a hole here somewhere that this end sits in and then you slide this collar over it and then it kind of just sits like that this does not instill a lot of confidence in me if I was actually going to pass this into something I'd wrap some electrical tape around this collar just to keep this solid but that is a pretty decent magnet you know you could lower this down to something and pick something up with it if you needed to likewise you could replace this out with the hook and hook something and bring it up well with that I guess I should grab my tablet and hook this up so you can get a view of what it looks like on the screen I'll be right back all right here we are back I got my tablet this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch 2014 edition this is actually a wonderful tablet. I've had this uh, since Christmas in 2015. I, I got it as a gift from my parents, and it's been spectacular. Um, I should actually do a review on it. However, it's kind of old now, so it's kind of pointless, but it is a really, really awesome tablet. Um, basically, this is your competition to your, your iPads that are out there. Now, I am running the CameraFi app that I got from the Google Play Store. This will allow you to plug pretty much any USB camera into your tablet using either one of these USB OTG cables or maybe your camera already has a plug built right on it. You could go directly in. Um, I didn't use the camera app that came with the disc, which I mentioned I'll get into later, and I still will. Now, you can see when you plug this in, um, this camera was on the phone was on standby I plugged it in when I took it out of standby and put my code in it automatically opened up this app and is showing me the feed from the camera which I like if I show you the end of the camera you can see those LEDs are off if I go ahead and adjust the brightness you can see that they do get really bright not blindingly bright but it does definitely illuminate the area you need to get into now you can actually over illuminate so it's nice to be able to adjust the intensity and stuff but let's see here's those uh, original instructions that I showed you I'm gonna put them down and we can see once I get the orientation right that we actually can get really nice and close so this would be great for reading chips on circuit boards for teardowns or um, like I said getting into things now if I turn that brightness up you can see I can actually swamp it out a little bit so it depends on where you're going, whether or not you're going to want to turn that light up or down. But let's see, maybe I can look inside my power supply here. It is dusty in there. Uh, check out my Heiko. 
and it's not the the smoothest if you see if I start twisting it around that picture gets really blurry now don't forget I'm rec recording this on a camera and I could tell you personally right now looking at this tablet in real life versus looking at it through the viewfinder there's very little lag between the two you are getting that from this camera so again if you got it in the position that's pretty great now it does focus to infinity so I can shine it into the rest of my room over here but again you're not going to really see that well out there unless I start turning some lights on now let's see if I can do some uh, screenception here and view my <laughs> there you go that's my viewfinder on my camera viewing the tablet viewing the camera output so it's a triple screen thing going on over here just endlessly endlessly twist right in there hmm. yeah not much usefulness to that of course just a lot of fun but you can get an idea how those two actually look in real life but yeah it's not a bad picture quality for what it is you know I can go ahead and see there's that white wash effect I was telling you about you have to turn it down and then you can actually see a little better so your your mileage is going to vary on this for sure maybe like I said I have that pen cap let's pass it into a pen cap and see what happens yeah see good we can see right into that pen cap that actually gives me an idea to build a covert little spy camera it's pretty neat I'm I'm really impressed with the money I spent on this I don't have anything else though I can pass this into without being dirty see maybe I could show you this is my custom made lamp we'll shut that off for a second that's a 10 watt LED running at 12 volt DC in case you haven't figured it out and it's mounted directly to a heat sink inside of the bell here if I go ahead and get discombobulated here I'll show you the top half of it and I can actually pass this into the little vent here and show you the top of the heat sink so again I'm sure there's more uses for this thing than I'm showing you right now and maybe just watching this video is going to give somebody else some really great ideas but it's just a neat little camera it's just something good to have in the toolbox let's see here's my fluke meter let's orient this the right way look inside the terminal over here good for inspecting things like that or here's my uh, chaos nan synth we'll do a separate video on this at some point if I want to look inside these terminals here and see uh, how the jacks look you know there are some uses for it now I can tell you from holding this little metal end over here it is getting a little warm as can one can expect from having so much electronics jammed in this little tiny piece here also I'll mention that disc after I close out of this that disc has malware on it bad <laughs> I tried to install the driver on my computer for it I plugged it in it read no problem and showed me there was a couple APKs there uh, a couple zip files and an exe file not much more it kind of looks sketchy honestly just the file names um, nothing really instilled any confidence in me so then I, I plugged it in the computer the computer recognized it basically as a generic USB 2.0 webcam uh, Windows automatically assigned the driver to it um, I tried to install the software that came with the thing but security essentials kept popping up in the corner and I didn't really pay much attention to it at first until I tried to do something with the driver that was on the disk and I got the same little pop-up and I said well ah, you know what let me try scanning this disk in um, the, scan the antivirus program and see, and see what happens and right away it flagged it with a DDoS type file on there and uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put this in my personal computer um, that made me not want to put the APK in my tablet either so I've actually completely disregarded everything on that disk and just used some app I found off uh, that, that Camerify app also on the computer I just did a quick Google search for 
USB webcam viewer or something along those lines and I was able to download a program that way that worked really well and that's really all there is about to this video um, I will mention that putting on the little right angle adapter while it sounds like a really neat idea if you could see it doesn't really line up that great maybe if I turn the thing off it's gonna be hard to make this out on camera but if you look at it dead on the camera itself is kind of in the middle of the of the lens here the uh, the mirror but not really because the LEDs aren't completely circled around it you can actually barely make out that there's a couple at the bottom here that are cut off and there really is no way to remedy that also it seems like those LEDs kind of like flood out on that mirror there and it makes it kind of hard to see what you're looking at so I'm not sure how useful that's going to be but it is a pretty neat thing that it does have that feature so I'll have to do some further playing maybe I'll put it into some water and see if it is indeed waterproof because I haven't tested that yet but I do recommend picking up one of these if you're doing any kind of tinkering with stuff it is a really handy unit like I said just be really careful of this disc don't use it or at least give it a good virus scan first before you attempt to use it or you know put it on a machine that you don't really care about or isn't connected to the internet or anything like that now I mentioned in an earlier video um, the cheap tablet the $50 tablet this does work on that $50 tablet good part about that is is you're talking $70 for a USB endoscope cam with this long long lead on it that you can pass into all kinds of stuff so that alone taking this and that $50 tablet and throwing it in your toolbox would be a pretty damn handy thing to have you know you could actually pull up a lot of information on that tablet you can put a lot of electronics apps you know things based upon electronics and diagnostics into it and then carry one of these with you and you have a pretty powerful little set of tools there I think but at any rate that's gonna be the end of this video there really isn't too much more to talk about on it um, I do recommend going out and getting one of these and as always thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos